I'm back. It's been a long time that I've done anything, since I've done anything like this, and this is a video I've wanted to make for a while. This video is about my homemade pre-workout that I make and take before uh, lacrosse, cross practice, cross games, uh, as well as lifting. Uh, I take this almost every day, and I would say on average, probably a lot cheaper than um, some more fancy pre-workout you might find online. And everything in here has a purpose and it works. And, you know, assuming you, you do so correctly, uh, you're going to be, you know, getting dosages that are actually going to be effective, right? Rather than just on the label, you know, so I can say it in my marketing. Getting right to it, the base of my pre-workout is two things. One of them being caffeine, the other one being alpha GPC. Caffeine is a stimulant, sure you're aware. Uh, one of the most effective things you can take to increase athletic performance. Um, I tend to take about two to 400 milligrams. Right now, I'm only taking about 200 milligrams because I'm not pushing myself super hard because I have a hernia. Uh, more on that later. Other thing, this is alpha GPC. So alpha GPC, my understanding is it causes your body to release its stores of choline. Choline is converted into a neurotransmitter, acetylcholine which is essentially the signaling molecule for muscle contractions. So having adequate stores of choline in your body is going to ensure that your body is going to have adequate amounts of acetylcholine. So it's nootropic, so it can increase focus. And it overall, when I take it, it's like those good days where you feel like things are ticking. It makes that feeling happen more often. So, um, you know, long term, you can take it for a long time. And it's really, it sounds maybe a little foreign to some people, but uh, more and more pre-workouts are actually including it. And I think if you buy it this way, it's going to be a lot cheaper than maybe buying a more expensive pre-workout that has it on the label or something. So, um, highly recommend it. <laughs> Moving on to the things that I mix into a drink. Gatorade powder. You can do whatever uh, flavor you like with the exception of red because it has a red 40, which is bad. <clears throat> For a variety of reasons, maybe I'll talk about that. Um, this is just for flavor. It also has some electrolytes, pretty minimal amounts, um, but I have it in there. It just kind of masks some of the other things. Maybe don't taste that good on their own. Talking about electrolytes, iodized salt. I have the iodized version because um, I need more iodine than the average person per a DNA test. Iodine, or excuse me, salt is an electrolyte, sodium. It's going to allow you to hold on to uh, a lot that water you drink pre-workout, which you mix in uh, with all these ingredients, and it's going to ensure that your muscles are properly hydrated. I would say, in my experience, one of the most debilitating factors with regards to my performance is dehydration. So having adequate amounts of salt, I put probably about a teaspoon in there, um, or actually more like maybe close to a tablespoon. That is going to ensure... Um, that you're holding on to that water, right? And you're not just drinking a bunch of water and then pissing out all the electrolytes that you had to begin with. So you're consuming that water with some electrolytes, hold on to that water, it goes into your muscles. If you, you know, consume salt pre-workout, you're gonna have more of a full um, feeling within your muscles and also better pumps, my understanding. But try it, it's very effective. Moving on, creatine. Unless your doctor says you shouldn't take it for whatever health condition, I highly recommend you do if you lift weights at all. One of the most studied and proven supplements, uh, it ensures your body has adequate stores of energy for those short-term explosive contractions, lifting weights, sprinting. Really, if you're doing any sport that involves something explosive, which is practically all of them, creatine is very effective. It's also cheap. Um, and doesn't taste like anything. So I mix it in with the salt and the Gatorade and two other things uh, that I will talk about in a sec. Maca Root Extract. This is the bulk supplement brand. You can also just do Maca Root, but uh, I thought the extract might have been a bit more potent, so I tried that. Um, Maca Root is a Vitality supplement that's been used for ages. Um, I believe in India, it's been really popular along with like ashwagandha. Actually, no, that might, that might not be true. 
I, I think it's actually a South American thing. But anyways, maca is like a food. It's similar to, I believe, the radish or the turnip, one of those. And it, um, my understanding is that it was consumed by warriors in the past prior to battle. So my subjective experience with it is that it just makes me feel a bit more, you know, battle ready. That's kind of a cringe way to say it, but just more like oomph right it just makes me a bit more grounded and you know for lifting weights perfect um so i've really enjoyed that the past few years and that's definitely an important ingredient here as with all of them and i mean counting the caffeine the alpha gpc there's one two three four five six seven well also water but seventh ingredient and final these, this is beetroot this is the Organics Express beetroot, ground beetroot. Organic ground beetroot. Beets contain nitrates. Nitrates are the precursor to nitric oxide. Um, and in the world of lifting weights and supplements, you'll see a lot of nitric oxide boosters out there. Beets are a, a natural one of those. Um, enhances blood flow, better pumps. I think it allows me to train a little longer too. Um, due to, I think, the enhanced just, you know, flow of nutrients and whatnot throughout my muscles. Um, it's pretty cheap, particularly this brand. It's on Amazon, as are several other of these things. I'll probably link uh, some Amazon links below if you're at all interested. Um, but mixing the beets with the maca root extract, that's Bulk Supplements brand, some Gatorade or anything really flavored. You could also use like orange juice or something. Look, iodized salt and creatine. So those five things together with about, you know, 24 to 36 ounces of water, you're going to be quite hydrated, um, ready to go with big juicy pumps. And um, overall, I think just ready to have that much better of a workout. In terms of dosages, we're talking maybe one to two tablespoons of this, maybe more. Same deal here, one to two tablespoons um, sea salt, I'm talking, you know, one, maybe two teaspoons. Creatine, five grams. Uh, so usually you'll have a little scooper. You can do that. And then as much Gatorade or whatever flavoring powder or liquid you want to taste. And then in terms of caffeine, as I said, two to four hundred milligrams, sometimes more. And that might not for me as of recently, but in the past, I've taken a lot more. Um, and then alpha GPC, I take two, so that would be 600 milligrams. This is the Balanced Breens brand, which I found quite effective. Another great one is Double Wood, and that's also on Amazon. So putting this all together, I think you can get a pre-workout that's very effective, right? Also inexpensive, um, doesn't taste terrible, and... Uh, overall, you know everything that's in there and everything is healthy for you, right? I mean, if you're taking 800 milligrams of caffeine every day, that's probably an issue. But in moderation, right, and take into the dosages they're suggesting, every single one of these is going to help your workout as well as be good for you long term, I would say. Of course, consult your doctor if you have any concerns, um, but I don't think really anything here is that much to be concerned about. So that's my homemade pre-workout. I think you should give it a shot. And again, this is coming from somebody who's taken a whole bunch of stuff, natural stuff, but tried a whole bunch of different supplements, tried um, different pre-workout, you know, mixes and whatnot. Um, you know, tried some of the more extreme ones and uh, also some of the ones you see at maybe a grocery store, or Target and whatnot. And, you know, it's, it's like at the end of the day with pre-workouts, I found a lot of them just to be a big mosh pit of stimulants. And sure, occasionally, you know, some of that's kind of fun. But to take something consistently, I think it's good to have more control as to what you're taking in order to compensate for what you might need during that day. And likewise, I don't want to be taking a pre-workout filled with a bunch of random stuff, right? So, they're not random stuff, but stuff I'm not fully informed about. So, that's the deal. I'm back. More videos to come. Give it a shot and let me know what you think. Over here and Ben, signing off.